Fishing in India is a major industry in its coastal states, employing over 14 million people. In 2016–17, the country exported 11, 34,948 metric tons of seafood worth $5.78 billion rupees, frozen shrimp being the top item of export. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization FAO of the United Nations, fish production has increased more than tenfold since 1947 and doubled between 1990 and 2010. India has 8129 kilometers, 5051 miles of marine coastline, 3827 fishing villages and 1914 traditional fish landing centers. India S fresh water resources consist of 195,210 kilometers, 121,300 miles of rivers and canals, 2.9 million hectares of minor and major reservoirs, 2.4 million hectares of ponds and lakes, and about 0.8 million hectares of flood plain wetlands and water bodies. As of 2010, the marine and freshwater resources offered a combined sustainable catch fishing potential of over 4 million metric tons of fish. In addition, India's water and natural resources offer a tenfold growth potential in aquaculture farm fishing from 2010 harvest levels of 3.9 million metric tons of fish. If India were to adopt fishing knowledge, regulatory reforms and sustainability policies, History Historical texts like Kautilya's Arthashastra and King Somaswara's Manasalasa refer to fish culture. For centuries, India has had a traditional practice of fish culture in small ponds. Significant advances in productivity were made in the early 19th century with the controlled breeding of carp in tanks where river conditions are simulated. Brackishwater farming was done on an old system where man-made impediments in coastal wetlands and salt-resistant deep water paddy fields. Management <inaudible> 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 Economic benefits Topic. Fishing in India contributed over 1% of India's annual gross domestic product in 2008. Fishing in India employs about 14.5 million people. To harvest the economic benefits from fishing, India has adopted exclusive economic zone, stretching 200 nautical miles 370 kilometers into the Indian Ocean, encompasses more than 2 million square kilometers. In addition to this marine zone, India has about 14,000 square kilometers of brackish water available for aquaculture, about 16,000 square kilometers of freshwater lakes, ponds, and swamps, and nearly 64,000 kilometers of rivers and streams. In 1990, there were 1.7 million full-time fishermen, 1.3 million part-time fishermen, and 2.3 million occasional fishermen, many of whom worked as saltmakers, ferrymen, or seamen, or operated boats for hire. In the early 1990s, the fishing fleet consisted of 180,000 traditional craft powered by sails or oars, 26,000 motorized traditional craft, and some 34,000 mechanized boats. Fish production rose from 800,000 tons in FY 1950 to 4.1 million tons in the early 1990s. From 1990 through 2010, Indian fish industry accelerated, reaching a total marine and freshwater fish production to about 8 million metric tons. In 2006, Indian central government initiated a dedicated organization focused on fisheries, under its Ministry of Agriculture. Special efforts have been made to promote extensive and intensive inland fish farming, modernize coastal fisheries, and encourage deep-sea fishing through joint ventures. These efforts led to a more than fourfold increase in coastal fish production from 520,000 tons in FY 1950 to 3.35 million tons in FY 2013. The increase in inland fish production was even more dramatic, increasing almost eightfold from 218,000 tons in FY 1950 to 6.10 million tons in FY 2013. The value of fish and processed fish exports increased from less than 1% of the total value of exports in FY 1960 to 3.6% in FY 1993. 
Between 1990 and 2007, fish production in India has grown at a higher rate than food grains, milk, eggs, and other food items. Indian inland waters rivers, reservoirs, wetlands, lakes and ponds contribute 62 to 65 percent of the total fisheries production. Topic. Law and regulations Topic. According to Indian constitution, the power of enacting laws is split between India's central government and the Indian states. The state legislatures of India have the power to make laws and regulations with respect to a number of subject matters, including water i.e., water supplies, irrigation and canals, drainage and embankments, water storage and water power land i.e., rights in or over land, land tenure, transfer, and alienation of agricultural land, fisheries, as well as the preservation, protection and improvement of stock and the prevention of animal disease. National laws include the British Era Indian Fisheries Act, 1897, which penalises the killing of fish by poisoning water and by using explosives, the Environment Protection Act, 1986, being an umbrella act containing provisions for all environment-related issues affecting fisheries and aquaculture industry in India, the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, 1974 and the Wildlife Protection Act, 1972. The banning of trawling by chartered foreign vessels and the speedy motorization of traditional fishing craft in the 1980s led to a quantum jump in marine fish production in the late 1980s. The export of marine products rose from 97,179 tons, 531 billion rupees in FY 1987 to 210,800 tons, 17.4 trillion rupees in FY 1992. Topic. Research and training Topic. Fisheries research and training institutions are supported by central and state governments. The principal fisheries research institutions which operate under the Indian Council of Agricultural Research are the Fishery Survey of India, Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute at Kochi, the Central Institute of Fisheries Education at Mumbai, the Central Inland Fisheries Institute at Bharatpur in West Bengal, Central Fisheries Corporation at Kolkata, the Central Institute of Coastal Engineering for Fisheries at Bangalore and the Central Institute of Fisheries Technology at Kochi in Kerala. Fishery training is provided by the Central Institute for Fishery Education in Mumbai, which has ancillary institutions at Bharatpur in Uttar Pradesh and Hyderabad in Telangana. The Government of India established the National Fisheries Development Board in 2006 with its headquarters in Hyderabad, the Central Institute of Fisheries Nautical and Engineering Training with facilities in Chennai, Kochi and Vishakapatnam trains operators of deep-sea fishing vessels and technicians for shore establishments. Fisheries Institute of Technology and Training FIT was established in Chennai in collaboration Tata Group to improve the socio-economic condition of fishermen. The Integrated Fisheries Project was established to research on processing, popularizing and marketing of unusual fish. At present there are 19 fisheries colleges run by state governments. Topic. Issues Topic. Despite rapid growth in total fish production, a fish farmer's average annual production in India is only 2 tonnes per person, compared to 172 tonnes in Norway, 72 tonnes in Chile, and 6 tonnes per fisherman in China. Higher productivity, knowledge transfer for sustainable fishing, continued growth in fish production with increase in fish exports have the potential for increasing the living standards of Indian fishermen. Fish harvest distribution was difficult within India because of poor rural road infrastructure, lack of cold storage and absence of organised retail in most parts of the country. Indian fishermen get captured by the navies of Sri Lanka and Pakistan. Skirmishes with Sri Lankan Navy often results in casualties and damage of boats. Among all the major factors impeding sustainability of fisheries, factor of climate change is the recent addition. Climate change trends along major river basins of India have revealed a warming trend 0.2 to 0.5 degrees Celsius, declining rainfall 257 to 580 millimeters and shifting seasonality of rainfall occurrence. Rising sea levels 1.06 to 1.75 millimeters per year, receding Himalayan glaciers and frequent occurrence of extreme weather events are also a matter as per IPCCAR 5. 
The impact of climate change on Indian fisheries include changes in range distribution, breeding and spawning behavior, growth rates, thermal tolerance, stress physiology, invasion of exotics, impacts on aquatic primary productivity eutrophication, habitat quality deterioration through sedimentation, water stress, aquatic weed proliferation, and saltwater intrusion. The impact of climate change on inland fish production have been mixed in nature ranging from being detrimental to beneficial in various cases. Aquaculture Carp <coughs> 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 Carp farming in the country started between 1970 and 1980 due to the demonstrated high production levels of 8 to 10 tons, hectare per year in an incubation centre. Late 1980s saw the dawn of aquaculture in India and transformed fish culture into a more modern enterprise. With the economic liberalization of the early 1990s, fishing industry got a major investment boost. India's breeding and culture technologies include primarily different species of carp, including the important Indian major carp species, notably Catla, Marigal and Rohu. Other species such as catfish, murals and prawns are recent additions. The culture systems adopted in the country vary greatly depending on the input available in any particular region as well as on the investment capabilities of the farmer. While extensive aquaculture is carried out in comparatively large water bodies with stocking of the fish seed as the only input beyond utilizing natural productivity, elements of fertilization and feeding have been introduced into semi-intensive culture. The different culture systems in Indian practice include Intensive pond culture with supplementary feeding and aeration 10 to 15 tons per hectare per year Composite carp culture 4 to 6 tons per hectare per year Weed-based carp polyculture, 3 to 4 tons per hectare per year. Integrated fish farming with poultry, pigs, ducks, horticulture, etc., 3 to 5 tons per hectare per year. Pen culture, 3 to 5 tons per hectare per year. Cage culture, 10 to 15 kilograms per square meter per year. Running water fish culture, 20 to 50 kilograms per square meter per year. Topic. Prawn or shrimp Topic. Freshwater prawn farming in India has grown rapidly since 2000 with Andhra Pradesh contributing to approximately 60% of the total water area dedicated to prawn farming, followed by West Bengal. In fiscal 2016, India became the biggest exporter of shrimps by overtaking Vietnam. Frozen shrimp is the top item of export among seafood, accounting for 38.28% in quantity and 64.50% of the total earnings in dollar terms in 2016-17. The overall export of shrimp during 2016-17 was pegged at 4.34,484 MT, worth $3.726 billion. USA was the largest import market for frozen shrimp 1, 65,827 MT, followed by the European Union EU 77,178 MT, Southeast Asia 1, 05, 763 MT, Japan 31,284 MT, Middle East 19,554 MT, China 7,818 MT and other countries 27,063 MT. Shrimp exports from India are expected to nearly double to $7 billion by 2022, driven by strong demand, high quality, improved product mix, and an increase in aquaculture area in Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Odisha and West Bengal. The giant tiger prawn is the dominant species chosen for aquaculture, followed by the Indian white prawn and Pacific white shrimp in 2015-16, West Bengal MT was the largest producer of tiger shrimp for export, followed by Odisha 9 MT. Andhra Pradesh 2, MT was the largest producer of Pacific white shrimp. <laughs> Freshwater aquaculture Freshwater aquaculture accounts for nearly 55% of the total fish production in India. 
Aquaculture resources in India include 2.36 million hectares of ponds and tanks, 1.07 million hectares of beals, geals and derelict waters plus in addition 0.12 million kilometres of canals, 3.15 million hectares of reservoirs and 0.72 million hectares of upland lakes that could be utilised for aquaculture purposes. Ponds and tanks are the prime resources for freshwater aquaculture in India. However, less than 10% of India's natural potential is used for aquaculture currently. For bringing more areas under scientific fisheries and aquaculture, the Indian government and premier fisheries research institutes are trying hard to sensitize the fish farmers and entrepreneurs regarding the package of practices and prospects of the highly promising culture-based fisheries technology CBF in inland waters. Utilization of untapped inland waters through CBF is one of the foremost strategies for achieving blue revolution. CBF is generally practiced in inland waters having areas between 100 and 1,000 hectares lakes, wetlands and small reservoirs and cautiously in 1,000 to 5,000 hectares medium-sized reservoirs. Topic. Brackishwater aquaculture The FAO of the United Nations estimates that about 1.2 million hectares of potential brackishwater area available in India is suitable for farming. In addition to this, around 8.5 million hectares of salt affected areas are also available, of which about 2.6 million hectares could be exclusively utilized for aquaculture due to the unsuitability of these resources for other agriculture based activities. However, just like India's fresh water resources, the total brackish water area under cultivation is only just over 13% of the potential water area available. Carp hatcheries in both the public and private sectors have contributed towards the increase in seed production from 6,321 million fry in 1985-1986 to over 18,500 million fry in 2007. There are 35 freshwater prawn hatcheries in the coastal states producing over 200 million seed per annum. Furthermore, the 237 shrimp hatcheries with a production capacity of approximately 11.425 billion post larva per year are meeting the seed requirement of the brackish water shrimp farming sector. Distribution <inaudible> 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 There are five main fishing harbours at Mangalore Karnataka, Kochi Kerala, Chennai Tamil Nadu, Vishakhapatnam Andhra Pradesh and Rachik in Kolkata West Bengal. 23 minor fishing harbours and 95 fish landing centres are designated to provide landing and berthing facilities to fishing craft. The table below presents the top 10 fish harvesting states in India, for the 2007-2008 agriculture year. In 2008, India was the third largest producer of marine and freshwater capture fisheries, and the second largest aquaculture farmed fish producer in the world. References Further reading Library of Congress Country Studies. U.S. Library of Congress, released in public domain. Retrieved 6 October 2007. Topic. Citations. Topic. 